looks like you got yourself out of purgatory. Good job. You want a hug? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or a night. Today, again, we'll be reselling. Nothing new to that, right? That's for sure. But on today's video, guys, I will show you what I sold on eBay, Amazon, Etsy. Uh, also, I'll answer a viewer's question, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll just keep talking. We'll see how we do. Uh, never know what happens in these videos, these daily vlogs. But I definitely appreciate you guys watching here, and uh, let's get into now what I sold. Okay, let's dive into what I sold today. First order is from Amazon, Merchant Filled. It's a Maxim uh, June 2009 magazine. I got this out of that magazine lot I showed you guys in a previous video at some point. And um, interesting, you know, these magazines a lot of times... You know, uh, when you sell these, they go to prisons, believe it or not. This one's going to San Quentin State Prison in California. So it ended up selling for a total of $6.99 shipped. It'll go uh, definitely media mail. Uh, next item I've got here is, what do we got here? It's Etsy now. Sold this uh, another Johnny Cash. I walked the line, vinyl LP record. I showed you guys this at some point. And this old good old Johnny Cash record sold for $11 shipped. Next item we've got is this REO Speedwagon. It's from 1977. It's a double gatefold live record. Uh, you get what you play for. So we got the record here. It's an acceptable condition. The, it's got some heavy record wear, record ring. And I mean, it's kind of it's kind of beat up. The jacket's beat up. But uh, ended up selling it anyways for $8 shipped on Etsy. So we'll pack this stuff up, guys, and I'll show you some eBay. Yes, we got eBay today. Okay, let's dive into what I sold on eBay. Start off with this, uh, this is a lot of Atari catalogs, video game manuals, etc., etc. There, there was quite a few in here. And it's got the comic books for the Atari, too. There was like a three series there that was included. Threw this on auction. This had to go around on the second spin on auction because the first time there was no bids. Finally got a bid on it, and it sold for $1.99 plus $4.50 shipping. So for a total of $6.49 total. And I don't even know how much money I've gotten these. They came out of a big video game lot, a retro lot, maybe pennies, who knows. But uh, it's sold, so I'm glad it's out of my house. Next thing we have here is another thing that went to auction for the second round. This is a uh, Logitech behind the ear, just uh, headphones with microphone. Uh, pretty much they're brand new, but I couldn't claim they're new because who knows. But the uh, plastic's still on it here. Got the mic, the whole nine yards. Again, second round on eBay. Sold for $1.99 plus $4 shipping. So a total of $5.99. And this came out of some junk lot. I probably got out of the garage sale, a bunch of cords and cables, that type of craziness there. So I don't know, maybe you have 10 cents in it. Maybe. <laughs> um, all right, here, here's something interesting. This is a, uh, uh, I'm not even pronouncing this correctly. Who knows? It's a Seconic Auto Lumi Zero adjustable model number 86 camera light meter made in Japan. And um, pretty good condition here. This took uh, 34 days to sell on eBay. It was, buy it now, or was a buy it now. Total of $10.01 shipped. Set that over there so I don't lose that. Next item here, this, I believe this was a second round eBay auction as well. These are uh, Tommy Hilfiger jeans, denim, spell out. It's got the spell out name here, Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, just jean shorts, right? And um, size 34. Ended up selling for $7.99 plus $4.25 shipping on auction on eBay for a total of $12.24. Uh, I think I had $1.50 of these on the thrift store. I got them on a half off day. So there also did have a small mark on them that I put in the listing there. So stuff with flaws and junk and scratches and rips and tears. Everything sells. <laughs> um, all right. So the next item here, this one came out of the recent storage unit. Just the Hanes Beefy T t-shirt here. It's from 1998. It's a Mesker Park Zoo out of Evansville, Indiana. It's got the nice Tiger graphics on here, the whole nine yards. Uh, size 2XL. Again, came out of the storage unit here, so uh, who knows what the true cost of that is. I've already made so much money off this unit. Um, but the total on this one, and again, I think this is a second pass on an auction as well. So $1.99 plus $4 shipping for a total of $5.99. And uh, we'll ship that one out. Another one here. This one's an interesting one. I... Uh, Star Wars, it's a pretty darn cool t-shirt. It's got, you know, Darth Maul on it, the whole nine yards with the original Star Wars tag from the Phantom Menthus, Menace movie. And um, 1999 Star Wars Phantom Menace Darth Maul Battle Retro t-shirt, size extra large. Second round on eBay auctions. Originally, I had it for $1.99 starting bid plus $4 shipping, no takers. This time around, I said, hey, we can always raise our price, can't we? <laughs> so 
So I just ended up, we ended up getting bid up to uh, $2.25. Actually, I started the bid at $2.25, plus $4.25 shipping. So I, I jacked it up another 51 cents, give or take, and, and it sold. So I sold for a total of $6.50 for the Star Wars shirt. Maybe had a dollar in it from a thrift store. And the last item for today, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is this Arizona Diamondbacks Majestic Diamond Collection sewn jersey. Uh, size extra large. It's got the nice sewn, you know, sewn stitched patch on here. It's a mesh jersey. Uh, really nice jersey here. I had it on uh, sale, I think for 15% off. Ended up selling it on Buy It Now for a total of $29.77. I think I paid two dollars for this at Goodwill at some point. So we'll package this stuff up and we'll see what else we do. So if you're not aware Say of it. Rockstar Say Flipper, that. I'd recommend you go over there and subscribe. There'll be a link down below. Last night I was on his show. It was a charity show he was running, and I had a blast on there. Haven't been on the live show in a while. I don't actually do too many live shows these days, but uh, wanted to kind of show, uh, wanted to donate some money and, and have some fun at the same time when talking to Casey. He's a really good guy. If you guys are into reselling stuff, that's for sure. You're following me. You should be following him. He does a lot of cool things. He's in Florida. He flips a lot of cool things. He's out there hustling, hitting the pawn shops. So uh, I, I really do appreciate his energy and his uh, his mojo to, for the hustle, right? So if you like if you like the hustle guy, if you like what I do, you like uh, a lot of the stuff I'm showing you guys, you'll love Casey. So go down and, again, there's a link below. You can subscribe to watch him. And you can also watch the live show that I did with him last night. All right, we've got a question here from a viewer, Steve O.L. Appreciate you watching the video, Steve. Uh, it says here, hey there, I was just wondering if you can address how much of your profit you pay yourself. I started reselling tail end of last year and have just been flipping everything I get back. I'd just like to know if you take a percentage or just a dollar. Thanks. Cheers from Chicago, Steve. Thanks for the comment, Steve. Hopefully I can answer your question here, but uh, all I can really tell you is just my side and how I work things, right? When we lived in Chicago, we, we our expenses were so high there, right? The cost of living was so high. Not only that, I had my warehouse, I had employees. So I had a lot of expenses, right? So my system from back then is a lot different from our transition moving from Chicago to Arizona. Here, the cost of living is almost a third, right? So we're able to, to, to save more money and do more things with our capital and, um, and kind of live pretty comfortably, right? The, um, so it's really going to be based on your situation. You know, you guys are listening, you guys are watching. <clears throat> you know, what you have to first do, this is what I, I do, right? I write down my expenses. I write down... What is our bills, right? There's an electric bill. What's your mortgage? What's your rent, car payment? Write all this stuff down, and then that's pretty much what I consider the paycheck, right? I got to make sure all those bills are paid, right, across the board. Again, include everything, groceries, gas, the whole nine yards, okay? So you're writing all that. That's your expenses. So if it's, if it's four grand, that's, that's what you got to come up with and save, right? You got to get that money every month to pay the bills and survive, right? But, um, you know, what I, what I typically do then is after I have that dollar amount and that's paid every month, right, I basically have different systems in place. It's kind of like the envelope system, if you guys have ever done that for savings. Um, but it's, it's, you know, I've got my uh, picking fund, so a percentage goes back into my picking fund so I can keep reinvesting into my business. I can keep buying products. I can keep flipping stuff, every, you know, month in, month out. Then I have, um, you know, a savings fund, right, just strict Strictly savings, right? Money just goes right into there. Uh, another one I have is kind of like an investment retirement fund. You know, I've been talking about maybe flipping cars, maybe buying real estate. So, you know, I'm saving money to do something um, in terms of an investment property or something like that or a car um, and also something for retirement because us resellers that are full-time, I mean, I have no pension or anything like that. So I got to have some kind of nest egg at the end of the day because... At the end of the day, I can't be doing this. And I mean, I can do this the rest of my life. I, I feel like I'm retired, to be honest with you. But um, I want to be make, make sure you never know what health issues. You know, health issues might come along, and next thing you know, I, you know, maybe I can't go out there and pick. You never, you never know. But you got to prepare for that stuff, right? And then the uh, the last one is kind of like the bonus, right? Um, I, I put a percentage aside every month for just bonus. And that bonus means, hey, maybe this is money for a vacation. Maybe this is money to buy a new car, right? Or, or just go out and have fun, you know? Um, but I think at the end of the day, once you, you know, take some time and just write down all these expenses, write down this, this, that, and just gradually follow that, right? And the next thing you know, you're going to have fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 saved up in your bank account. You're going to have all this stuff lined up for you, savings, the whole nine yards, right? And again, this is all hard work. It's hustle. It's dedication. You know, if you're used to going out and, and buy McDonald's five nights a week, maybe cut that out, you know? There's a lot of ways to cut down what you're actually doing. Um, 
if you're living in, let's say, New York right now, you're like, my God, this is getting outrageous. The, 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 the monthly bills are nine grand. Well, who says you have to live there, right? I mean, you can always travel across the country. Come to Arizona. There's sections in Arizona. There's sections everywhere throughout the United States that are a low cost of living. And, but there's still great opportunities to pick, you know. Um, I think if you're a really good picker, you can go, you, can, you know, live in Chicago. You can pick out in Arizona. You can pick in California. You can pick in Antarctica, right? Pick out in Iceland, Canada, Mexico. It doesn't matter because you're just you're out there hunting for treasures. You're looking for opportunities. But anyway, hopefully that appreciate or hopefully that uh, that answers your question there, Steve. I appreciate the comment. Appreciate all of you guys' comments. And uh, just go out there and just hustle it, man. And just have some business sense. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, have some business sense map out your life that is for sure so i appreciate you guys watching today's video if you enjoyed today's video please hit the thumbs up button um, i'm gonna be staying busy here guys listing i'm also gonna take the break and uh just kick back tonight uh <clears throat> this weekend there is a bluegrass festival i might go to that's right down the road not sure we'll see there's all types of festivities going on over there just kind of want to get away still stay busy and everything like that i'll be listening throughout the weekend and obviously doing the daily vlogs here so uh you never know, I might stop over there for a little bit and listen to some bluegrass, listen to some jams. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, go out there, be great. Go out there, keep listening, keep making money. So next time I'm out of here, peace, vlog over.